What's up, Weekend Models? We back with another one on this hot, sunny Florida day. So basically, what I'm going to do today, something that came in the mail. You know, I've been watching a few uh, videos, hanging out with a few people who've got this uh, particular part installed. Uh, seems to be giving gains from, you know, contrary to what people believe. So uh, we're going to go ahead and install this throttle body spacer very simple uh i'm not going to film the installation simply because it's only four bolts i'll show you i'll point out where they go and how to remove it and stuff like that but um i'm gonna install and do a test drive give me a few let me get this thing rock and rolling oh and it is blue um i like the color you can see the ridges inside of it and that's what uh, causes the turbine. Uh, I'll explain more after I get this install done. So give me a few minutes. So I know I said I wasn't going to explain, but uh, you know, sometimes I wish people do things for me. So what you do is take this cover off and this is on a uh, V6 3.6 liter. Take this cover off. What you're going to do is remove your intake which i'm still on the stock intake i do have an aftermarket one just not installed yet uh you're going to remove this stock intake by loosening up this bolt that's going to require a uh, what is it um i think it's 10 millimeter anyway uh the hardest one to find take this off and then you're going to unscrew these back here on all four that's your throttle body the spacer goes behind so after it's done, I'll give a more in-depth explanation and we can go from there. So I figure I'll give you guys a mid uh, video, uh, you know, process or whatever uh, going along. Four bolts have been removed. They are right there. I'm going to replace them with the newer bolts. They do seem a lot more sturdy. So after you remove the throttle body, you put that in facing with the lip facing inside the manifold. I'm going to get this bolted up and we'll go for a test drive what's up so we back throttle throttle body spacer is on i'm sweating didn't take me nothing but 10 15 minutes but man it's like 105 out there today so throttle body spacer is on as you can see she's sitting pretty right out there so garage is a mess that's why she's not inside that's why i'm not doing it inside the garage but anyway uh I'm gonna go shower, cool off, jump in the pool with my son. And once it cools down outside, man, uh, we'll get a little test drive and see uh, see how it sounds, see what it adds. I know the car has to be tuned to everything that's done to the car. It needs another tune. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll also do a mods list that I did so far. This car is coming a long way. So, uh, uh, man. The stuff we go through, I'm not even monetized. So we do this just for the viewership, just for you guys. Other people out there with V6s um, who are looking to do stuff to their car to make them a little bit more fun uh, for the guys who don't have the V8s. Uh, V8 is coming soon, man. I speak that into existence because one day it's gonna happen. But until then, we're gonna do what we can to this car. And uh, you know, hopefully somebody else can learn like I did off of someone else. So uh, stay tuned, be right back gonna go shower cool off jump in the pool and when the sun goes down we'll do a test drive so stay tuned looking forward to that all right y'all so we're in the car uh everything is installed as you guys seen in the uh the intro with the the revving uh the, i guess the exhaust sounds you can kind of hear the whistle which is sweet, man. Like I said, any mod for the V6 that is performance uh, driven is a must have. You know, these cars don't have the most power, the most torque, but they are fun to drive. So right now, we're actually gonna go on a test drive and I got my little boy with me. Say what's up, Pop. What's up? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, he's into Mopars too, man. Got him at an early age. So, uh, so uh, you know, he, he wants to tag along for the ride. We're gonna let this traffic clear up real quick. And we're gonna, we're gonna punch it, man. See if we can hear any of that whistling sound that I heard when I was revving the car. And, uh, you know, 
probably won't see any gains, if any at all. I don't know. They say uh, 10 to 18 horsepower with these things. So, uh, you know, we'll see what it does. I did put my aftermarket uh, intake on. It's nothing special. That's why I didn't record it. It's basically uh, a two to the front headlights with the, uh, the air holes that you see on the Hellcat. So I did uh, that upgrade a long time ago. If you guys go back and look at the video. So what it is on the 3.6 is I took my uh, I took my intake tube, ran it to the headlight, uh, the one that I have with the cone filter on it, and um, basically for forced induction, better better uh, air actually actually cold air instead of going down by the wheel well and everything like that. So right now I'm gonna punch it and uh, let's see what happens. different i don't know if that's any horsepower or torque gain i, I don't know you know <laughs> i couldn't tell you but it does i would say it does feel a little different uh you know i do have a lot of supporting mods to the car uh done but uh the next mod will be uh i'm kind of following in some of the footsteps of the guys that i watch man you know uh shout again shout out to garage driven Shout out to uh, Fat Cat. Follow both those guys. Garage underscore driven on uh, IG. Garage driven on YouTube. Fat Cat 8181 on IG. Fat Cat on YouTube, man. Those guys drop a lot of jewels, a lot of how to's. Uh, uh, do it DYIs from uh, Garage Driven. And uh, Fat Cat with, uh, with Christine, man, shows you how to keep your car clean crispy you know what i'm saying uh without all the extra colors i mean like that if that's your thing all the colors that's your thing but me personally i like to keep my car looking as pretty as she can while she's as close to stock looking like that that clean stock look with a little giblets here and there you know what i'm saying take it over the top but uh, shout out to those guys but like i said uh you know if you've seen the last video with those guys racing you know, Garage Driven has some stuff up under there. He don't really want to tell nobody what he got. <laughs> but he pulled the win out over Fat Cat, which is a friendly race. You know what I'm saying? Those guys, uh, you know, good friends. So go, go tune into their channels. Great content. But uh, anyway, so I heard uh, about the throttle body spacer. I heard a lot of good. I heard a lot of eh. Didn't really hear no bad. All I heard was it doesn't really do nothing for you. Well... I didn't buy one of the expensive ones, so to me it doesn't matter. I spend 67 bucks on this one, and it's good quality. Uh, you guys seen, it's good quality. Uh, so, you know, anything with good quality, man, if I like it, I'm going to put it on a car. You know, especially something like that, that could potentially help this car be a lot more fun. So, until I get that 392, which I will get eventually. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I came down here to Mexico real quick. I'm about to do a U-turn and uh, give a nice pull on the way back home. So let's see how that goes. Man, my AC is not blowing that cold. I wonder what's up with that. But anyway, just waiting for traffic to uh, go. And, uh, let's get, let's turn traction control off for shits and giggles. V6, you ain't gonna get that much of a zero to 60 pull. So that's not what I'm expecting. <clears throat> I'm just expecting to feel a difference. Uh, it does have a slight whistle to it. Anyway, man, if you like the video, if you stayed this long, I greatly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said earlier, man, you know, I'm not uh, monetized. I do this simply because I like to do it and show you guys that you can do it too. You know, just like I watch somebody before me who didn't think they could do it they did it and had me thinking i could do it too and now i'm doing it. what's up pop look i see a club that looks like a leopard 
A cloud that looks like a leopard. I don't know, you guys see it? That's a five-year-old's imagination. Right, you see it? <laughs> That's my boy, man. So, uh, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. I would say pick it up for 63 bucks, V6, or any, you know, 5.7, 6.2, or any other, you know, build out there. Uh, diff, you know, I'm a Mopar guy, but pick it up, man. You can't beat it for the price. They do got more expensive ones out there. I do not know why. They all do the same thing. Maybe the grooves inside the throttle body spacer, uh, like I showed you earlier, maybe they're different. I don't know. I did my research on this one. I went ahead and bought it. Fast delivery also. The company, I forget the name of the, uh, the company. Uh, I probably put the link in the description below. So, uh, yeah, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in once again. Oh, yeah, I'm in my Mopar Mafia shirt. You know what I'm saying? Those guys support me. Shout out to Mopar Mafia. Joe, Maria, everybody over there. Uh, shout out to my boy Chris and his wife. Great people. Shout out to everybody over there, man. Showing love since day one. You know what I'm saying? But uh, until the next one, man. We out. Peace.